right after this. Texas All-Star Wrestling comes to the Mayburn Civic Center, Temple, Texas, on Saturday, November the 16th, 8 o'clock starting time. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event on that Saturday the 16th will see Chavo Guerrero, U.S. heavyweight champion, teaming up with Big Bubba to take on El Madrill and Killer Brook. And for the first time ever in Temple, Texas, an eight-man midget. Eight midgets in the ring at one time, over the top rope to the floor to be eliminated in that battle roll. A long way for a midget that's about 12 to 14 feet over that top rope to the floor. Plus other exciting matches, advanced tickets on sale at the Mayburn Civic Center. And remember, that is Saturday, November the 16th, 8 o'clock, Mayburn Civic Center, Temple, Texas, Texas All-Star Wrestling. But Chavo, you're back, and I know you want to get even with El Madrill, and you get a chance right here in Temple. Never mind the even, Steve. Never mind the even. Madrill has tried to hurt. He hurt my father. And now he has burned me. And my drill, I'm still here. And now you got this half-fed biker coming into the ring. Well, let me tell you something. When we get in the ring, there's no bike, there's no leather. It's wrestling, Jack. So bring Brooke and bring my drill. I got the biggest man in professional wrestling today. The strongest man in professional wrestling today. And we're going to get rid of you and your biker friends. Big Bubba. That's right. Uh, I'm a drill. Brooke, you guys... Tried to blind me, tried to get me out of here, but it didn't work. Brooks, you come at me with everything. Chains, chairs, it doesn't matter. When the thing's over with, I'm going to take a rip your eyes out, brother. You want to bleed, you want to take and make me bleed. For every drop of blood that you shed from my head, I'm going to take and put buckets from yours, brother. Calvin Guerrero. Let me tell you something, Steve. Madrill has gone through a lot of his stint, including bringing a Russian all the way from Russia. Well, brother, you're in America. You're in America, and when it comes to America, you can bring anybody you want. Because this is a free country and the greatest country in the world. And I'm, today, ladies and gentlemen, Rafael Rodriguez and myself have here with me El Madrill. And uh, El Madrill hadn't been too long since you've been on the Texas All-Star Wrestling close up. Well, that's right, Steve Stack. You know, they begged me to come on this five-minute thing. You know, they, if they had their way, I'd be on here every week so these idiots out there could understand what I'm saying. I speak Spanish because I know all these Mexican people out here, they don't understand English. But I'm going to talk like a gentleman and sit right down here and talk like a man. Well, Al Madrill, there's been a lot of controversy lately in some of your matches. But that's a lot of controversy, the way you've been getting into the ring and the things you've been doing. Don't worry about it. I've been accused of throwing stuff in people's eye, somebody getting burnt, and all kinds of things like that. Well, you know what? I don't know what these people are on, but they're hallucinating. I have nothing to do with that stack. I just no. noticed you are not wearing the cast. What is it? Do you have the doctor's letter to wear that glove? Get the porta fee. Get the porta fee. Look at stack. I went to the doctor, and he told me, Madrill, you got to wear something on this hand. It's still hurting me. So I went and got this doc, doc, doctor's glove here, which I have got to wear every time I wrestle, Sack. Now that's what this glove's for. And don't ask me no more about it, because it's none of your business. Chavo Guerrero was out earlier on Texas All-Star Wrestling. He'd like to get his hands on you. Chavo Guerrero, whoopee do, you know. Who cares about Chavo Guerrero? Now he came out here, and he said that he would put that belt on the line, didn't he? He said he would like to have another match with you. He didn't say put it on the line. Well, then he's got no business asking me about anything. If he puts that belt on the line, of course I'm going to accept it because I want that belt. Well, let me get this straight. You, you will wrestle Chavo Guerrero as long as the U.S. Heavyweight Championship on the line. He knows Chavo Guerrero. Chavo Guerrero, all he's got to do is polish that belt because if I get in the ring with him, oh, that belt is coming right here where it belongs, baby. I ain't worried about no Chavo Guerrero. Well, Madrill, we'll check you later on and see about that U.S. title match. But there are a lot of rumors going around the professional wrestling area that you've been in contact with a lot of different areas of professional wrestling. That's right, Stack. You know, I've been on the telephone. I've been very, very busy lately. I've been talking to a lot of guys, and... Um, yeah, I know. I've been having a little inside check on you. How do you know? I understand. You've been in well, you've been tapping my phones or what? Bobby Heenan of the WWF in New York City. That's right. I've been talking to Bobby Heenan. You, you want to know who else? Are you going to tell me? I suppose you know already, right? Somebody told me that you even contacted Gary Hart of World Class Wrestling. That's right. I've talked to Bobby Heenan. I've talked to Ray Stevens. 
I talked to Gary Hart. I've talked to a lot of people, baby. I know. You also were on the phone to I J. J. Gary Hart. That's right. I talked to J. J. Akbar. Why don't you let me talk and shut your mouth, Zach? These people want to hear me, not you. Y tú también, Caeta. Yo estoy hablando, no tú. Yo hablaba con Gary Hart. Yo hablaba con Ray Stevens. Yo hablaba con todos los... Luchadores. Los managers. Los managers. No le hace que... Ahora vas a comenzar conmigo, ¿eh? You said you were going to be calm. Eh? Tell us what all this is all about. Why are you in contact with all these people? Well, let me tell you what, Steve Sack. You know, every week the greatest wrestlers in the world come here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. I've got the Hood. I've got Killer Brook. And now I've got the Korchinko, the Russian. And I've got a new man that they're going to be seeing here pretty soon, the Assassin. I've got a lot of wrestlers. And you know, that's a big load for me. So I want somebody to go halfers with me so we can start the biggest association in the wrestling profession right now. And uh, yes. you're going to have an association with somebody. That's right. I'm going to have an association with one of those guys. Well, would you mind just going ahead and tell us all these fans out here will know? Actually, that's none of your business, Zach, who I'm going to bring in here. But if you really have to know, I'll tell you. Why don't you just tell us and tell all these fans here? Well, next week, people, Gary Hart is going to be here, and he's going to team up with Al Madrill, and we're going to start the biggest association in professional wrestling today, baby. How do you like that? That's right, Gary Hart from the world class is coming here with me, and we're going to be team together. That's, that's right, right baby, that's right. Well, that's yet to be seen. What else do you want to talk about, Zach? I want to talk about, I also understand that you and Gary Hart of all many ready-made want agreement, something to do with the Russians. That's right. That's right. You know, Korchenko has beat everybody like that. Have you noticed that, Zach? Korchenko, el ruso ha ganado todos muy fácil, ¿verdad? Well, now I'll tell you what. I'm going to put $2,500 of my money. Gary Hart's going to put $2,500 of his. And $5,000 if anybody can last five minutes with a Russian. When does that start? That starts tonight. If you want it to start immediate, I don't care. $5,000 if they can last five minutes. If any professional wrestler can get it. Any professional wrestler, if he can last five minutes with Korchenko, will get $5,000. And Gary Hart, I understand, has somebody that he's bringing with him next week. <laughs> when Gary Hart comes, Mr. Stack, he is going to bring a man here that you will not believe. He is called the American Ninja. This man can drive nails with his hands through boards. He can break bricks. He can do a lot of things. He's probably one of the most vicious men I have ever seen in my life. I never thought I'd see the day that the Association of Heart Madrill would be on Texas All-Star Wrestling. <laughs> you people are going to have to remember Gary Hart and Al Madrill, baby. We're going to be the biggest association today in professional wrestling, and we're going to rule Texas All-Star Wrestling if we have to buy the TV, if we have to buy Fred Barron out, whatever we have to do. We're going to be number one right here. Thank you very much. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Gary Hart is coming to Texas All-Star Wrestling, plus the uh, American Ninja. We'll see you next week. Time limit. Tag Team Action. Making their debut in the United States from Yokohama, Japan. Weighing 247 pounds, Fuyuki. And his partner from Kotiki, Japan. Yuki and Kawada make their first United States appearance right here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. They go up against Nick Kaniski and Jim Powell. I want to tell all you fans, don't forget, next week, Gary Hart and the American Ninja right here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. That's right, Zach. I see you're smirking a little bit. I just surprised the world, haven't I? That's right. Jerry and I are going in cahoots together, and we're going to have the biggest stable of wrestlers in the world in this profession. Well, I can believe that. Uh, Gary Hart and El Madrill together here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. And Nick Ganeski hooked up with Fuyuki. And F-U-J-U-K-I. Fuyuki from Japan. As he twists and turns. And now he holds on to Ganeski. And Ganeski goes in behind. Ganeski picks him up. And it seems like Ganeski... 
using some of that Olympic moves. Uh, ring. It is Nick Kaniski being pushed back into the corner. Kawada with a forearm. Kawada with another forearm. Another forearm. As Powell starts in. And now here comes Fuyuki. Fuyuki with a kick to the midsection. They pull Kaniski out. Snap him over. Up with that leg across the chest. Big kick from Fuyuki. Oh, these Japanese wrestlers are tough. What did I tell you, Sack? This is the greatest team in the world, baby. And I brought him here for one purpose. And I don't care who they have to wrestle, whether it's American Force or Chavo and Casey or whichever team thinks they're good enough or big enough, we got them right here, baby. These guys are great. A little double teaming there from the Japanese wrestlers as Kaniski kicks out, tags out, in comes Jim Powell. Powell punishing the left leg. Gary Hart, the American Ninja, right here next week. Here comes Powell, bouncing off the rope. Oh, what a kick! What a kick from Kawada! Kawada tags out. What a kick from Kawada. Here comes Fuyuki. Oh, they hold foul. Fuyuki catches with a knee. There's a kick. Fuyuki takes foul, whips him across the ring. Fuyuki with a nice back drop as he got foul coming off. Toyuki rolling Powell over, setting down in the Boston Crab. Oh, and the other Japanese wrestler using his head to push and give him a little more pressure. Isn't that great, Sack? I'll tell you what, these guys are fantastic. They wrestle my style of wrestling. My style of wrestling. And if he moves back, there's all four men in the ring at one time here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. to the midsection. Did you see that move, Zach? Here comes Powell off the rope. Nice drop kick from Kawada. As Powell down, it's one leg over that bottom rope. There's a tag for Yuki into the ring. Oh, double chop. Down goes Powell. Fuyuki reaches down, grabs the hair, pow! There's that big reverse kick, wow! What do you think, Zach? What I tell you? That's, Zach, this is all over, Zach. These guys know exactly what they're doing to take care of these opponents. Gets him up. What's he gonna do with him? He holds him. There he goes down. And here's the count. It's one, two, three. Kineski comes in, but he has stopped. An unfair advantage, as Stephen Hart, for us to tell him apart, and we've had him beat time and time again. I know the people have seen it, you've seen it, everybody here has seen it, and they just find a way. They switch or whatever, and it is really hard to tell them apart, and I think, uh, I don't know, I just don't know what to do about it. Sean Michael. Well, Steve, you know, Michael. the claim to fame we have is we beat the sheep herd, and that's two separate men, two separate men, and we can do the same to the hoods if we had two separate men, but when they wear those hoods, of math, it's tough to tell which one is which, and it is an unfair advantage. And we would show the people what happened the other night at Joe and Harry, they'll see exactly what we mean. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and you talk about the American Force speaking of the hood switching and taking an unfair advantage into the match. Let's pick up the action of a tag team match where the American Force was battling it out with the hood. And punish that arm and shoulder some more. It is Hood number one, holding on to the left arm. Of Paul Diamond, Sean Michaels is outside trying to cheer his partner on. Referee tells Michaels to get into his corner. Now they time that arm back up into the rope. Diamond off the ropes, a kick knocks the hood down. Diamond across the ring. Can he make it this way? He is rolling. Here comes the other hood. He tags in. Top Diamond again. Suplex. On top, it's Hood number two. A count of two on Paul Diamond. Texas Tag Team titles on the line. 
The Hoods, the champion, defending against the American force. Diamond ducked underneath that one. Cross body block, knocks the hood down. Now Michaels trying to get Diamond over where he can make the tag. Can Sean Michaels tag it in? He does. Here he comes over the top rope. Oh, Sean Michaels. One hood down, he grabs the other and whips him across the ring and catches him in the midsection. Comes up with another super kick and down goes the other hood. So it's John Michaels taking care of the two hoods as Diamond is rolling out on the floor. There's that super kick and it kicks the hood all the way out onto the concrete floor. The headlock by Michaels. Here he comes over the top, over the top of the referee, over the top of the referee. Close line by the hood. The hood switch. The hood switch. Oh, something's got to be done about this. This is not the first time the hood did it, but they made that quick switch. And I just caught it as they were jumping over the referee. The hood that was outside on the floor came into the ring. The other one went out, and it was one, two, three. The hoods have come out here, and I want to tell both teams, I don't want any fighting like was going on up here last week. If you guys want to fight, if you start a fight here, both of you will be this band from Texas All-Star Wrestling and unable to wrestle. What kind of stipulation is that? Well, this is not a Who place to fight. Who never threw the rapist show that film? You know they edited that film to be the damn finish. We never switch. We never have to. We can beat them any day of the week, and you know that, and they know that. Well, it looked to me like this, Rick. They sure did, Steve, and you saw it on tape. And I'll tell you one thing. If you want to step into the ring with us, brother, okay? If you were mad enough, there was no editing. You guys were at the meeting. The committee meeting, you guys were there, we were there. You know what you got to face. It's real simple. One of you has got to wear a different colored hood. One little stipulation. You guys are mad enough to beat us, you say? Just wear a different color mask. That's all we need. A different color mask and you'll be looking at a new Texas Tag Team Champion. You can guarantee that. Ladies and gentlemen, Fred Barron, the promoter of Texas All-Star Wrestling, has ordered a match with the stipulation of the hood. You wear a red mask, you wear a black mask. That way, there's no way you can switch. Well, let me tell you something, Steve. We don't care if it's a yellow, pink, or any other color. We don't need to wear the same colored mask to beat these two punks. That's we can go in the ring with no mask on, and we can beat them once, we can beat them twice. It doesn't make a difference, Tex. You know that, they know that, and these people know that. Well, I, have a, I have a contract here from Texas All-Star Wrestling. The state, a Texas tag team titles on the line. The hoods wear separate masks. Will the American Force sign? You got it right here. Signature of the American Force. Well, the American Force is going over there to sign, so they have agreed. How about you two? Black I said before, Steve Sachs. It doesn't make a difference. We can wear different colored masks, different colored tights. We can come out there and anything we want, we can beat them. And it doesn't make one bit of difference to me what stipulation they got. We're ready anytime they are. Put your names on there, guys. Put your names on there. Last Sunday was the last switch you guys will ever do. I guarantee you that. You think different color masks going to make you Do you think it's going to make you any better? Do you think it's going to make it any easier for you? Well, the hoods have the contract. Wait a minute. One of the hoods says no. They are talking about something. Just a moment. The hoods. They are going over there, and they are thinking about signing that contract. I don't know. They're over there trying to sign that contract. I hope they get it. What were y'all talking about? What do you mean, wait? Did you sign the contract? We signed the contract. That's no problem. And now we're not a fight. We're fighting champions. We're not paper champions or closet champions. We can beat them any time, any place. But since they're sitting out here claiming stipulations, we got one for ourselves. What do you mean one for ourselves? The little stipulation that's in this contract states right there that if the American force loses, they have to leave town. Do you leave town or leave Texas? Leave town, the state of Texas. Out of here, once and for all. Well, wait a minute, Sean Paul, they have signed, but they put in a special stipulation. said you guys will have to leave Texas. John, this is your hometown. That's right, Steve. This is my hometown. It's become Paul's new home. 
There's one thing that means an awful lot to us. No, I'm not choked up. I'm not choked up. Yeah, this is my home, but I want those belts more than anything. So you want the match, you got it, buddy. You have got it. If you guys lose, you leave Texas. That's right. If we lose, if we lose the match, we will leave Texas there in any way I'm leaving my home. He's leaving his new home. We're going to beat you guys for the last time. You ready to you for Because Southwest Airlines has got a flight leaving San Antonio every hour on the hour. And come after that mess, you're going to be on the next plane out, boys. And the thank you, bud. We're going to send them all over. We're going to send you out. You're gone. You're history, boy. This is your last match. Guaranteed. You can go to the bank. You can write a check, baby. It's over. And Tell you what, Steve. We handled the sheep winners just fine, two on two. Now we got two different color masks. There's no way we're leaving. This has become my home. It's Sean's home. And we're staying here. Right, Steve. Come on. This is my home. We are not going anywhere. We are fighting two men now. Night one like it was before. Hood, you got our backs up against us all now, brother. And we are coming out fighting. Thank you very much. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. American Force against the Hood for the Texas Tag Team title. The Hood must wear a different color masks. If the Force loses, they leave Texas. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more right after this. Here on Texas All-Star Wrestling, Gary Hart and the American Ninja. Oh, Golden has been laying him in. Gavigan has been taking the punishment from the Golden Boy. The look on Golden's face, he is furious. You can tell. I guess everybody be furious. Somebody come in and take your woman away from you right here on television. And then Golden had to... Uh, go out because the bell sounded and he had this match with Gavigan. Here's a count. Two, he picked him up by the hair. The ref 
referee Fred Sinclair Town goes if you're going to pin him, pin him. Dish out any more punishment if you have to. Close line. Down goes Gavigan Golden coming over the corner. I have never seen the look that Golden has on his face tonight. Any other time that he's been in the ring, something is really bothering him. There's a clothesline. Down goes Gavigan. Golden grabs the leg. This time it's one, two, three. One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, the golden boy, Mike Golden, trying to make his way out. Let's see if we can get Golden right over here. As Golden makes his way out. Mike Golden, hold on just a minute, Golden. Want to know where fantasy went? Who was I'll that? I'll tell you something, C-Sex. That boy should have never followed me here. He should have never found me. What do you mean? It's a family matter. It has nothing to do with wrestling. You don't bust. You stick your nose out of my business. You keep your nose out of my business. Oh, the golden boy is mad. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's not too happy. He's going out trying to find fantasy. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because more exciting action is coming up right after this. Team action is killer. Brooks is back with Texas All-Star Wrestling. Teams up with El Madrill to take on Chavo, Guerrero, and Big Bubba. And for the first time ever in Temple, Texas, a Nate Midget battle roll. Eight midgets in the ring at one time. Over the top rope to the floor. That's a long way for a big man, much less a midget. Other exciting matches. We'll tell you more about that next week right here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. The action begins at 8 o'clock Saturday, November the 16th at Mayburn Civic Center. You can pick up your advance tickets at the Civic Center. El Madrill. You know, I heard Chavo go out here a little bit while ago saying how he had one of the biggest wrestlers in the world as his partner. You left out one thing, though, Chavo. One of the dumbest wrestlers in the world, too. Now, I I tell you what, that's the blind leading the blind. So Guerrero, we're not worried about it, because look what I got for a partner, Killer Brook. You know, Bubba, you're big, that's all, Jack. You're not so bad. You're just big. And this little Mexican boy running around out here crying because Al tried to take his eye out. He's got a scar on his face. Who cares about Chavo Guerrero? I don't. And Al Madrill doesn't. We don't care about what Bubba wants, what Chavo wants. It's what Brooks and what Madrill wants. That's all that counts. You're going to be beat. It's in my favorite town, Temple. When I go to Temple, I always try to be meaner and dirtier, and I try to whip somebody good because I like Temple. You heard that, Stack? So Chavo Guerrero, you come down there, baby, and you bring your little shoe shine box, and afterwards you can shine our shoes, because that's all you're good for, and you bring your daddy around again, and I'll slap him again. I don't care about you, your family, your dog, your goldfish, or anybody else, Chavo Guerrero. I want you, baby. I'm glad you're back. The head stage, Texas, weighs 262 pounds. Killer Brooks, his opponent at 218 pounds, Rudy Gonzalez. Well, there's the bell, ladies and gentlemen. It's Killer Brooks. Starting quickly on, wait a minute, Killer Brooks has a fist tape. What is this? This is, this is a thought of tape fist match. What's he doing? Isn't that great, Zach? You know what he's getting ready for? Iceman. The Iceman. Uh, hey, he don't, he is not supposed to matter tape fist. That's a disqualification. The referee has already asked for the bail. Why? Why? Because why? Brooks has the fist cover up. Oh, what? Do that. When you got to get in the ring, you got to do the best to win and do anything to win. And that's what the killer's doing. The rib cage of Rudy Gonzalez, and he has got to be trying to break the rib with the referee. As for the bells, we told you, Brooks disqualified for the tape fist as he continues to pound. He pushes the referee all out of the way. Rudy Gonzalez comes up with a fist, but he's not going to get too much power as Killer Brooks has been really laying him in there. Oh, isn't that great, Zach? That's oh, my type greater. of man. That's my type of man. Let's bring in the Iceman in here. Let's bring in anybody against Killer Brooks. He'll take care of him. Killer Brooks grabs Rudy Gonzalez, puts him into the ropes. Oh, that's right to the top of the head. This Killer Brooks is crazy. He's going after the referee, stomping around the ring. Rudy Gonzalez was knocked out on the floor. Remember, the match was over the minute it started. That's right, it was, Zach. It was over from the beginning. And I'll tell you what, anybody that gets in the ring with Killer Brooks, he's my type of man. Got 
gotta be loco in the cabeza. Well, there goes Brooks outside grabbing Rudy Gonzalez. This to the top of the head. The referee being pushed out of the way. Brooks going back in the ring. Why doesn't he quit, Madrill? Why should he quit? This guy wants to stay in there? Well, then let him stay in there if he's dumb enough. Well, Gavigan has come out to try to help Rudy Gonzalez get out of the ring. Brooks is laying it in there. Well, Rudy Gonzalez is taking a pounding now. Killer Brooks is biting. This to the top of the head. What's the matter with this Killer Brooks? Get it, get Rudy out of there. Ah, oh, Killer Brooks. I don't know what they're going to do with this guy. He was disqualified the moment that match started because the referee saw the tape fist. Brooks had him covered up. Brooks, that's the worst thing I've ever I hope you're watching that, Iceman. King Parson. Tape fist match. That was for the Iceman, Stack. You send that to Dallas straight to the Iceman. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Killer Brooks. Why did he get his hands on the Iceman, King Parsons, with those tape fists? Now, let's go join Bill Merriman, our ring announcer. As Killer Brooks is still not leaving the ring. Brooks is pounding on two men out there now. Al Gallagher and Rudy Gonzalez. This Brooks is crazy. Well, I don't know whether the Iceman would want to get a hold of Killer Brooks right now tonight at all. There's Killer Brooks, he finally gets separated. Brooks has Rudy Gonzalez again, throws him into the TV stand. The referee, Fred Sinclair, is being pushed out of the way. Killer Brooks trying to get out of here. Let's go now, ladies and gentlemen, and pick up our ring announcer, Bill Merriman, for the next match. This event is the five-minute, five thousand $5, dollar challenge event. Introducing the challenger from Stomping Grounds, Kentucky, weighing 331 pounds, J.R. Hogg. Across the ring from Vladivostok, Siberia, in the Soviet Union, weighing 367 pounds, Kortenko. Korchenko coming in the ring now. Don't forget next week, Gary Hart and the American Ninja for the first time here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. That's right, Stack. After this TV show's over, I'm making a long-distance phone call. I'm calling Mr. Hart, and we're going to talk about it, and he should be here flying in. And I'll send the limousine to pick him up at the airport next week for TV. He will be here, and he will bring the American Ninja. You better worry about this. you got $5,000 on the line here. If J.R. Hall can stay with the Russian Korchenko for five minutes. I'll tell you what, Stack. I'm going to go and take a nap right now, and when I come back, I'll still have my $5,000 in my pocket. All you youngsters, don't forget, wherever Texas All-Star Wrestling is held, if you're under the age of 12, it's only $3 general admission. And the midgets are coming to Texas for a midget battle royal, first time ever in Texas, plus Little Tokyo will be defending his Texas, I mean his world midget championship. Look at Hog, he knows there's $5,000, well... He knew there was 5,000. Now, he was really going at that Russian. He had the Russian going his way, but then the Russian just steps aside, dropped J.R. Hall over the top rope. Here comes the Russian claw. That's it, Stack. Now, you know when this man puts on that claw, there is nobody but nobody, not whether Chavo Guerrero, not whether Scott Casey, the American Force, or anybody else that can get out of it. $5,000 challenge. Any professional wrestler that can stay with the Russian five minutes, he gets the $5,000 put out by the new... Uh, connection of Al Madrill and Gary Hart. That's right. Al Madrill and Gary Hart, baby. We're here to stay. That match is over. Sorry. That match is over. Russian Korchenko keeps the money for Madrill and Hart. Stay tuned because we'll be coming up with Chavo Guerrero and Scott Casey here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. Just a moment, but before we go to this break... Kaniski has come out here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. How you doing, Nick? Come on, thank you. How you doing, Steve? Steve, I just heard on television there that they're offering $5,000 if you can go five minutes with the Russian. And I'd like to accept that challenge because I could sure use the money right now. Hey, would like to take that challenge next week here on Texas All-Star Wrestling? I would love to, you know. I think the people of Texas are the greatest. The fans supported me from the beginning. I know they'll support me right to the end. And uh, I 
honestly feel I'll get 100 to 10%, and I believe I can go five minutes. I'm just about sure I can. Thank you very much, Dick. We'll find that match for you next week. It's Nick Kanetsky against the Russians for the $5,000 five-minute challenge. Stay tuned. The Cowboys, Scott Casey, and Chavo Guerrero next. Your USA Heavyweight Championship on the line. You know, brother, this is the most prestigious belt, only, only apart from the World Heavyweight title. And Madrill, you don't deserve to wear that title around your waist. But first, you're going to have to beat me. But you're not going to beat me with fire. And I want you people to see what happened last week at the Coliseum. Let's take you down to the Freeman Coliseum, San Antonio, ladies and gentlemen. Show you Chavo Guerrero and Big Bubba in the ring against El Madrill and Killer Brook. Bubba takes Killer Brook, whips him all the way in across the ring into the turnbuckle, comes in with that big squash. He does it three times, four times. And now Bubba takes him, whips him into the ropes, gets a big boot up there at Dalwet Killer Brook. 431 pounds, big Bubba. Picks Killer Brook up. The baby's got him by the beard. Here comes the drill in. And that gets rid of Bubba, but right there is Chavo Guerrero with a forearm to the back. Here's the tag. It's El Madrill in now. Brooks holds big Bubba. El Madrill kicks. Texas All-Star Wrestling from the Freeman Coliseum, San Antonio. Here comes Chavo in with a knee to the back of El Madrill. It's two on one as Big Bubba's in the wrong corner. Elbow to the top of the head of Big Bubba. He staggers back there as Madrill. Madrill, as you can see, is not doing anything right now, but he did tag in. Brooks has not left the ring. They're going to pick Big Bubba up, and they take him down. Woof. Oh, and Bubba hits the mat. Everything shakes. Madrill now raking those fingers around the good eye of Big Bubba. Kick from Madrill. Oh, here comes Guerrero. The referee intercepts Guerrero, but he gets those out of the way. And Chavo going after Madrill. And Brooks comes over and he takes Chavo and throws him out. Now it's Big Bubba throws them together. Here's a tag and comes Chavo Guerrero. Chavo the drop kick on Madrill. Chavo the drop kick on Killer Brooks. Chavo goes after El Madrill. That's the one he wants anyhow. He takes Madrill, whips him into the turnbuckle. Oh, Madrill goes up by. Cross body block right onto the referee. Right onto the referee. Madrill is down. Chavo is on top of him. The referee is still out. Here's Brooks. Oh, Madrill landing right on the referee. Big Bubba's over there. There goes Brooks over the top rope as Chavo is throwing him out. Somebody throws a beer into the ring. Oh, there's a fire! The fire in the face of the referee! It was meant for Chavo Guerrero! But he ducked! The fire went into the face of the referee! Chavo ducked! It was from him! There's the beer! Show them a drill! Now, Chavo, the fire come out. You just ducked at that time. Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to make sure that it doesn't occur. I'm going to make sure that if Madrill beats me for the belt, which I know he can't, it's going to be a one, two, three in the middle of the ring. And I have chosen as a special referee, this man right here, Scott Casey, will referee that match and make sure that wrestling is what it's all about that night. That's right, gentlemen. I will be the deciding factor. It's got to be a one, two, three. Whether it be Alma Drill, whether it be Chavo Grill, the man that wins that belt is going to have to pin his opponent. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Let me... And Alma Drill, this is no, no ordinary referee. You can't burn this one because this one fights back. Thank you very much. They're going to the ring right now, ladies and gentlemen. You heard Chavo Guerrero and Al Madrill for the U.S. Heavyweight Championship Special Referee Scott Casey. Now, let's go pick up our ring announcer, Bill Merriman. Our TV main event with television time remaining from parts unknown, weighing 260 pounds, the assassin and his partner from Albany, Georgia. Quarter pounds, the USA Junior.
your heavyweight champion, the Georgia Strongman, Dale Vizzi. And their opponent, from Bull Verde, Texas, weighing 241 pounds, Cowboy Scott Casey. And his partner, making his return to Texas All-Star Wrestling, from El Paso, Texas, weighing 228 pounds, champion Chavo Guerrero! Well, Chavo Guerrero is back. He's teaming up with a cowboy. Now, Zero, he didn't have too much good to say about you, but he did accept your challenge with a special stipulation that Scott Casey will be the special referee. Well, I'll tell you what. I knew Guerrero would come up with something like that, Zach. Anything to try to hold on to that belt. But I'll tell you what. I don't care if he had Big Bubba, both the American Force, or whoever else as a referee. Because I'll tell you what, brother, I'm going to be the new champion. And you're going to see that, Sex. Well, it's the assassin. You told us the assassin was here. He's in the ring right now with Scott Casey. That's right. You see how big a man this guy is, too, Sex. I'm bringing men from all over the world. And I ain't telling you where this man's from. The assassin talks to Dale Vizzi, the Georgia strong man. I want to remind you... The great wrestling fans out there, the Texas All-Star Wrestling next week. Gary Hart will be here as he joins in association with El Madrill and the American Ninja will be making his first appearance next week right here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. And I'm still really confused of what happened to Fantasy. We're going to be checking on Fantasy and see what we can find out about her here before we go off the air today. The assassin with a fist. Here's the tag to the Georgia strongman. Casey. Well, the referee is not allowing the tag. The referee did not allow the tag. The assassin now goes over and he tags again. Coming to Texas. The midget world champion. He'll be defending that title. Plus, the midget in an eight-man over-the-top rope battle wall. First time in Texas. The midget battle wall with eight men in it. The Texas soon. Oh, BZ gets caught by Casey, and then he get him out of that corner. BZ going into Chavo Morrell. First one. Chavo Morrell. Suplex on the Georgia Strongman. But BZ uses the head. Guerrero comes up with a kick. Guerrero takes him, lays him on the rope. Here's Guerrero bouncing off the rope. A uh, hip up. Oh! Choking now by the Georgia Strongman. What I was trying to say earlier, Steve, that, that was the first move that I saw Chavo Guerrero do. And what happened? He fell down and broke his crown, didn't he? So I'll tell you what, Zach. Chavo Guerrero thinks he's just going to come back here and, and get all this revenge, supposedly, and that I hurt his poor little daddy, and I did this to him, and I did that to him. Well, Mr. Guerrero, I, there's nothing separating us right now but air. So whenever he's ready, and I can't believe he's man enough to even put the belt up, Zach, but I'm ready, and I'm going to take that belt once and for all. Casey slams the assassin. Casey kicks the assassin. My first look at the assassin. Big boot to the chest. Casey has him covered up the referee, Fred Sinclair. Two count as the right shoulder of the assassin comes up. Beasy is claiming that Casey has the trunks of the assassin. Youngsters under the age of 12, wherever Texas All-Star Wrestling is held, you get in for only $3. General admission, come on out and enjoy a great night with a professional from Texas All-Star Wrestling. Now, I ask you, I'm going to ask you one more time, whose idea is this for these $3 brats to get in there? Mr. Fred Barron, the owner of, of, of Texas All-Star Wrestling. Well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Fred Barron, if you're listening, my lawyer's going to be in touch with you tomorrow. Nobody's going to pay $3 to see Al Madrill. Here's the tag. The Georgia Strongman is in. Forearms to the back. Here comes Casey, bouncing off the rope. Oh! Casey had him up, dropped him down. Beasy now choking. Beasy choking. And now Casey's up. There's a kick from the assassin as everybody tries to get into the action. 
Casey, reversal, Veezy, off the rope. Casey has him up. What's he going to do with it? Helms him down. I'll tell you what, Zach, I can't take nothing away from Scott Casey, but if he thinks he's going to get involved in my match with Chavo Guerrero, he's got another thing coming, because you know the surprise I gave Chavo, the surprise I gave Bubba, well, I'll just do the same thing to Scott Casey. Well, Scott Casey will be the special referee when El Madrill meets Chavo Guerrero for the U.S. Heavyweight Championship. It's Guerrero in now. In comes the assassin. Guerrero went after him. Here comes Casey in now. All four men. Oh, Veezy going for the Sonic Ground. The Chavo Guerrero got him over the top. Has the shoulders down with a beautiful back boot right. Yeah, but he had him by the crank. One, two, three. And Chavo Guerrero and Scott Casey win it here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. Yeah. He had him by the crank. Back, why don't you say that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we were telling you earlier about the disappearance of Fantasy from the ring when she was in there with the Golden Boy. We don't know what happened, but let's take you back now and show you what happened when Fantasy disappeared. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's the internet. Just a moment, somebody has walked up the ringside. A gentleman has walked up the ringside. He is roasting over the Fantasy. He walked into the ring. He is grabbing Fantasy by the arm. Golden is just standing down. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, is this is coming. He's taking Fantasy, and she doesn't want to go, but they're leading her out the door. Whoever that was has grabbed Fantasy, and she's gone. I don't know where she went. The bell. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we still do not know what the, the status of fantasy is, but I'll guarantee you we'll check into it and we'll give you all the information next week here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. Plus, Gary Hart and the American Ninja make their appearance. That's right. Don't worry about fantasy and Mike Golden. That's their business, Zach. You just want to know everything. But I'll tell you what. Next week, Gary Hart's going to be here. He's going to bring the American Ninja in here. And, brother, I'll tell you what. Gary Hart and Alma Drill, we're going to rule. Texas All-Star Wrestling. Till next week, on behalf of everyone in Texas All-Star Wrestling, this is Texas All-Star Wrestling. Jerry Hardy, go! What's up here? What's up here? We have a fortune to win an exciting offer just for you. It's Texas All-Star Wrestling Jackets, just like your favorite Texas All-Star Wrestler wears. Five different colors, silver, maroon, black, red, and blue. Many styles to choose from, even with your favorite Texas All-Star Wrestler's name embroidered on the back. Sizes for all, from children's sizes to adults, small, medium, large, and extra large. Texas All-Star jackets are lined and made of the finest quality material. Custom made to your order. Be in style wherever you go with your Texas All-Star jacket. The jacket the stars wear. Texas All-Star Souvenirs has something for everyone, even me. Order today, send only $49.95. Cash here, check your money order to Texas All-Star Souvenirs. Post Office Box 15377, San Antonio, Texas, 78212-2798. Area code 512-736-6501. That's Texas All-Star Souvenirs. Post Office Box 15377, San Antonio, Texas. Texas All-Star Wrestling tonight in Temple at the Mayburn Civic Center. That's Saturday, November the 16th, 8 o'clock starting time, main event. Killer Brooks and El Madrill team out to take on Chavo Guerrero and Big Bubba. And ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in Temple, Texas, you'll see eight midgets in the ring at one time and an over-the-top rope battle roll, plus the midgets world championship will be defended. The Japanese wrestlers who are the all-Asian tag team champions will be there to meet the American force. The Georgia Strongman will be there. The Russian Korchenko advanced tickets on sale at the Mayburn Civic Center and be with us tonight at 8 o'clock. Temple, Texas, Mayburn Civic Center, Texas All-Star Wrestling. American Force against the all-Asian tag team champion. Paul? Thank you, Steve. Well, you know, we've been battling the hoods all over the state of Texas, but also we've been attracting some international talent. The New Zealand Sheep Herders came in, tried to get the job done, and they couldn't do it. We held up. Now we got this all-Asian Japanese team coming in here. 
Well, let me tell you something, boys. You show up in Temple, and we'll show you what America is all about. That's the American force, ladies and gentlemen. They'll be going against the all-Asian tag team champions who are under the leadership of Gary Hart. And let's pick up Gary Hart now. Number one, American force, you ought to know what you're talking about. The two men that you see standing before me today has beaten every American that has come to Japan throughout Asia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Kuala Lumpur, everywhere. A lot of Americans have faced these two gentlemen in search of the all-Asian tag team titles. It's a funny thing about the American race of people. They think that they know more about wrestling, more about living, more about life than anyone. But Al Madrill and I did not travel all the way to the Orient to get the services of these two men to make you look good. <laughs> 